Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and today we're going to be talking about freeing the rib cage. Um, in our next few videos, we're going to keep detailing and layering this. Today, we're going to be opening the um, medial shoulder blade into our midline. And one of the focus points here is to really release, unstick the shoulder girdle from the rib cage so that we feel almost that we have like a floating shoulder girdle over our rib cage. So our rib cage is not locked and compressed by a shoulder girdle that keeps gripping around it. And so this is a really nice subtle way to do it. So today we're gonna work into that rhomboid space between our medial shoulder blade and our spine, that slip of skin. So I'm using a mini tennis ball which fits perfectly into this space. So um, sometimes this is hard to get into by yourself, but um, try to get there or get a friend to help you. A lot of us will need some kind of head support. And then some of us will need a pad or a towel, small towel under that opposite shoulder blade. What you wanna do first is just become your heaviest self on the ball. Find some way to relax the legs and the pelvis, relax the head and the shoulders, rock yourself over the ball. So you really wanna land on the ball. No need to worry about being neutral or symmetrical here. The only focus is really getting heavy into the ball and having, having everything above and below the ball really dropped and heavy into the ground. So there's a number of different things that you could do. You could just land here and breathe, or you could start to move that same side limb in a couple of different ways. So you could take the long arm, the relaxed long arm up as if it's a helium balloon, and then slowly floating it down without losing that heaviness on the ball. So if you start to move your limb and suddenly you notice a sensation that you're wanting to come off the ball, that's a message that you just want to stay there and relax and land on the ground and maybe not add any limb movement. Another way that you can do this is shorten the lever of the arm. So you can have your hand on your shoulder, still landing on the ball, and then maybe adding that slow, small circling of the elbow and paying attention that you can still land on the ball. And then, of course, if we had all the time in the world, you could go up with the ball a little bit or down with the ball, so you hit a few more sensation spots. So we've only done one today, but I'm gonna pay attention to the difference on both sides, which is quite good. Yeah, I feel a huge difference side to side, even from that really small release. When I sit up, I feel a little bit that this side of my shoulder girdle has been brought up a bit, actually. Like there's a little bit of a hover, like a little UFO of this side of my shoulder girdle off my rib cage. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.